Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Today we're going to talk about a few things that I found in antique shops. I went down to Galesburg yesterday and I found another really nice set of Stanley number 45 blades. These blades actually match some of them that I had prior to. The difference is this is one from the set that I got previously and this is one from the set that I got yesterday. It has the notch in it. These blades are already set up to run in the newer Stanley 45 with the adjuster. This is for the older one. It's kind of interesting that I just went through and modified a blade and sharpened it all up to fit the 45 so that I could cut a groove for the pallet board project and within a week I find an actual set. It's good. These aren't a full set of blades. As you can see, this is only part of the package. There's a blade that has a stop in it for cutting tongue and groove. This is for cutting the uh, tongue. And this, this set came with this box. This box that I picked up earlier still has a little bit of the label on it. It says cutters for number 45 plane. This one has lost all the labeling on it. But that's really not important. It's kind of a neat thing to have it, but it's not an important part of it. The cool thing is the blades. And these blades run anywhere from $5 to $10 a piece. And I got them for a lot less than that. Now I have a set of blades that weren't made for the Stanley 45 in the year that I have it. Mine is one of the newer versions. That means I'm probably going to be selling just the blades. I won't be selling the box because I really need the box for the new blades. But I can use these blades as templates to make new blades or possibly find another set of blades. They seem to come in threes. So I'll have this set of blades probably up for sale on eBay because there's no point in having them. And I'd rather not modify these blades if I don't need to because somebody else may really want them as a collector's item for their blade. So I'm going to give these up to the woodworking community and the tool collectors to hash over and I'll be happy with the ones that I got. 